Welcome back everyone! Emily Gauvin here and today I'll be showing you how to make your very own female grunt inspired hat which looks like this As you can see this one looks a bit different than the last one It's a lot more rounded, a lot more poofy and a lot more like the one you can find in the actual game and is in my opinion a great alternative to the beanie we often see once again, the pattern to this hat is available in both my Etsy and Craftsy store, which will be in the description box below. This will be the last video of a three-part series, which focused on various accessories for the Team Skull grunts. Alright, so let's move on to the tutorial. To begin with, here are all the pieces included in the pattern. You have the centerpiece, the side pieces, and the long band. I know these sound exactly like the same as the male grunt pattern, but I promise you they aren't. Then, just as seen in the previous tutorial, you need to assemble the side pieces to the center piece. Align the edges right side to right side and sew at 1cm from the edge, making sure to align your notches as you go. To keep everything nice and clean, overlock your two new seam allowances. Take your two new seam allowances, fold them to one side, and top stitch them into place. This step isn't necessary, but gives you a nice and clean finish. Remember that I prefer using a longer stitch when I'm top stitching. I then take the long band piece Fold it in half right side to right side and sew the ends together at 1 cm from the edge. Make sure to iron your seam flat. Actually, I don't say this enough, but you should always iron your seams. Always iron your seams. Align the edge of the long band to the edge of the hat, right side to right side. Make sure to align the front notches, which are single notches, and the seam to the back notch, which is a double notch. You can also add extra pins on the side to help keep everything aligned when sewing. Sew the two together at 1cm from the edge. Next, you'll need to fold your new seam allowance towards the long band and stitch it into place. The stitch should be at 3mm from your seam. This technique will allow your long band to roll inwards and prevent it from being visible on the outside. It's a small touch, but it demonstrates extra care and a lot of professionalism. Now take the other side of the band to the serger and overlock the edge so that it won't fray. Iron it nice and flat before folding it in and ironing it again. Thank you. 
You are almost done, my friend. To make sure the hat fits nice and snug, you'll need to add an elastic band around it. Start by measuring the length around your head using the elastic band. Elastics tend to stretch when sewn, so make it a little smaller than needed so it's nice and tight. If you plan on wearing your hat with a wig, make sure to take the measurements while wearing it. Your head will be considerably larger with the wig on. You'll be attaching the elastic to the long band. I suggest hiding it between the long band and the seam allowance. Distribute the elastic band evenly around the hat and use pins to keep it in place. You then stitch it in place using a zigzag stitch. This is important since the zigzag stitch allows it to stretch out, while a straight stitch will snap when pulled on. Now that your hat is pretty much done, all you need are the cute little eye designs at the front. I will refer you to the previous tutorial to see how it's done. The link will be in the description box below. Hope everyone enjoyed that and that it was useful. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see more cosplay related content, please subscribe to my channel or check out any of my other social media. Once again, the pattern to this hat will be available on both my Etsy and Craftsy store, which are both in the description box below. And please remember that the giveaway is still going on for another few days, so if you would like to get your very own hat like this one, or this one accompanied with this awesome scarf. Please check it out. Until next time, good luck with your projects and bye guys.